In the factory, winding resistance is measured in order to assure proper manufacturing and calculate conductor losses. On site, this measurement is performed to evaluate possible winding damage, such as short circuits between windings or between turns, open circuits, contact problems, and to assess the condition of the tap changer. With the CPC-100, current is injected into the winding. Measuring current and voltage, the CPC displays the resistance value. Then it updates the value every second and displays the difference between two subsequent values. As soon as the inductance of the winding is charged, the resistance value stabilizes to represent the winding resistance. After the CPC takes the final measurement, it reduces the test current to zero, discharging the energy stored in the winding. A green safety light will be lit as soon as it is safe to remove the test leads. Based on the measured resistance value, the CPC can calculate the corresponding value at a given reference temperature. The windings condition can be assessed by comparing the measurement results with results from measurements performed in the factory or during commissioning, or with results from measurements of other phases. For tapped windings, winding resistance measurement is usually performed for each tap position. Besides giving information about the condition of the winding, this measurement is also used to check the condition of the tap changer, which is connected in series to the main winding. Results indicate when to clean or replace the tap changer contacts, or when to replace or refurbish the tap changer, which has a shorter lifespan than the active part of the transformer. The CPC makes this measurement easy by combining the resistance measurements for all taps in one sequence. Each time the user operates the tap changer, the CPC measures and displays the winding resistance at this tap position as soon as the values have stabilized. When all taps have been measured, it discharges the winding automatically and indicates when the process has been completed. In addition to this static resistance measurement, the CPC also evaluates the onload tap changer's dynamic switching behavior and checks for continuity as recommended by Seagray. When switching from one tap position to another, the tap changer's intermediate position via the commutating resistors make the DC current drop temporarily. The CPC measures the size and the slope of this current drop. If all the tap changer's taps are in good condition, this dynamic resistance measurement will deliver similar results for all taps. The results of this dynamic resistance measurement can easily be compared across taps using an Excel template. Winding resistance measurement is one of several methods of transformer diagnostics offered by the multifunctional CPC-100.